Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I created this look using this new palette. This is the Regeneration palette from Revolution Pro and this is just all matte different colors and when I saw this palette I really felt like I needed this in my collection because whenever you want to do a colorful look sometimes you feel like you miss a color that you would like to play with and I love that this have like a lot of warm shades also includes some blue some green I don't have a lot of green eyeshadows in my makeup collection so I love that this one includes that and it also has a lot of pinks and some more darker shades up here so it doesn't include a very dark black but I feel like a lot of people have a matte black in their collection but need more colors and it's not that expensive which I love and I created this like sunset look today I was really inspired by a look I have seen using this palette before kind of like almost recreated the beginning but with like the crease colors because I really wanted to use the um, yellow, orange, and red shades, like in that order, and then I know that the YouTuber, her name is Rachel Leary, I think, uh, included some of the pinks, so I kind of did what I remembered, but I'm not quite sure if I did the exact same shades, and I also remember her doing this very beautiful thing with turning like the same shades you used in your crease on the lid like a sunset and I was really really inspired by like the summery sunsets that's coming now this season uh, so I will leave that video down below the one I was inspired by she was also the one that got me sold on this palette and made me really want to buy it and try it out and see for myself how good this palette was. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this look using this palette and also everything on my face today, then just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So to start off this tutorial, I went in with the yellow shade all in my crease and blended that out and then I went in with the orange shade in my crease as well, just a little bit lower and then I went on with the red shade again in my crease a little bit lower it's not hard to do just watch and follow if you want to recreate this tutorial with the red shade i used a very like thin blending Brush. I think this one is from Morphe just to really get into the crease without having the color everywhere and if you get the color low down on the lid don't worry because we're gonna cut the crease with concealer later on and then I went in with these two pinks I think I remember Rachel doing almost the same thing I don't remember exactly and as you can see here the shades had some fallout but I didn't mind because I did my eye makeup first and then I went in with my face makeup and also I think Rachel did this with a very thin brush that she kind of created a cut crease with two darker shades so that's what I did as well And I took the same brush as I used with my yellow shade without adding any more product on the brush and just blended it out and I finished it my other eye off camera before cleaning up under my eyes from all the fallout. So I used the Maybelline Fit Me concealer to create the cut crease and I just went in with a flat concealer brush cutting the crease and then I kind of did the uh, sunset vibe on my lid. Most of this got out of frame when I did it so I'm so sorry but as you can see I went from yellow to orange and then to the brightest pink in the palette to kind of create that sunset vibe. Then I wanted to deepen out my outer corners so I mixed these two shades and just apply them on my outer third or outer V or what you call it on my eyes and then I had to clean up some more because those shades had some serious fallout. So as a primer I used the Smashbox 
Primerizer, I think it's called. And then as a foundation, I used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 205. And I just apply that all over my skin. And I decided to do some quick cream contour with the Hoola Contour Stick from Benefit. And then I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to conceal and highlight my skin. Then I decided to set my face with some NYX translucent setting powder to just set all the places I applied my concealer before finishing up my eye makeup. For falsies today I used the uh, House of Lashes Bohemian Princess Lashes and then I just went in and finished my under eye using the yellow and orange shades. Then I went in with my NARS Laguna Bronzer, this is one of my most have favorites. To highlight, I used the Extra Dimension Skin Finish from MAC. This is in the shade Whisper of Guilt and also in the limited edition uh, Christmas collection packaging. And then to blush, I used also from MAC the matte powder blush in the shade Copper Tone. This is such a stunning shade for summer. And for lipstick, I used the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Venus. This is also one of my favorites. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can be a part of my little YouTube following. I am closing up to a hundred subscribers, which is great. I'm just very happy that we are growing like little by little. And also I'm very, very thankful for your support and watching my videos. So if you want to, then please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hello, this is the Revolution Pro. This is the Revolution Pro Regeneration. This is the Revolution Pro Generation. This is the Revolution Pro Re. This is the Revolution Pro Re. Oh. Re regeneration. This is the Revolution Pro. Re Why can't I say that word after Revolution Pro?